Nobody knew whether Mary Hatch would actually be able to get out of her wheelchair, but she couldn't resist a dance to her favorite song. And it's possible, with a pretty sudden decline in health, that she won't get another chance. Hatch is used to being the star on the dance floor. Like at weddings, she'd blow people away. Her and my grandpa would um, just take up the sweep, sweep up the dance floor. Literally, people would just go to the edges and just watch the magic. Like it, they were just so amazing. And people still talk about it to this day. It wasn't just for fun. She was a pro. When a young Sammy Davis Jr. gigged in Vancouver, Hatch was one of his backup dancers. When Theatre Under the Stars began at Stanley Park's Malkin Bowl, she was center stage. Hatch performed in Victoria and crossed the country for some productions. Growing up, ever since I was little, I've always known her to be Ballet Grandma. That's actually my name for her. I don't even call her Grandma. I call her Ballet Grandma. <laughs> If you ask Hatch what she remembers most from her days as a pro, she'll tell you it was the hard work, but also what it took just to get the show on stage. In Victoria, we opened the second act and the costumes weren't ready. So they were pinning stuff to us and, oh, wow. you know. A little bit ramshackle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now Hatch lives in a care home. She got herself a reputation as a dancer there as well but she's 88 years old, and the staff have noticed a quick decrease in mobility. They wanted her to enjoy the feel of the wooden dance floor under her feet one more time before it's too late. This morning, Mary was up early. She got her makeup done and her hair done. She was picking out what she was going to wear. A lot of anxiety, a lot of uh, excitement and anticipation. All the staff were excited, everybody knew, and even her friends were all excited for her. They thought she might just wheel around a bit, but she even managed to stay on her feet for an encore. It's probably her last dance, and Hatch savored every moment of it. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, Coquitlam.